Hi guys, Electro sent us this parcel um, to review, so let's open it up, see what's inside. We've been told that inside of this package is a Raspberry Pi Pico Advanced Kit, so hopefully we'll see that, what that is. Um, as with all products that we review, and we will review, um, we've not been paid to say anything specific about the products, we're just going to give our honest opinions and an honest review of the product. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh. that is so cool. Before we open this up, if you're into products like this, you will love our Raspberry Pi Pico um, pinout PCB coaster. Not only does it provide a platform to rest your cup on, but it also provides a handy pinout right at your fingertips to help you in your Pico project. Later on, we'll empty the box showing everything that's inside, along with making something from the box. I'm just going to open it here. Okay. <laughs> this looks really nice. It's jam-packed full of components, components yeah. I mean it looks like we're going to be have, we'll have so much fun with just what's inside this box. Yeah. God, it's jam -packed. So, it's Raspberry Pi Pico included. Um, there's an option to buy this without or with the Raspberry Pi Pico. Right. Did so you? obviously it's cheaper if you buy it without. <laughs> it costs $38 alone, but an extra $5 to have the Pico um, with the kit, and if you want the Pico W, it costs an, an extra $8. So what is this product because at the moment it just looks like a lot of um, components. components in a box well where you buy this on their website there's a PDF where you can download um, a little booklet um, link will be all the links will be in the description don't yeah. worry about that um, and this booklet has 32, 32 different things. different projects that you can Have do that. so that's a, a rate it's got the code and everything it's a range from things as simple as lighting up an LED yeah. to which I'm really excited about, making a, a remote a remote control car, which is really cool. So what is inside the box? First off, we've got these DuPont lines. We've got 40 of them here. You can never have too many of these. Along with that, it comes with 60 breadboard jumper wires. To go along with them, we've got two medium breadboards and a small breadboard. We use these small breadboards all the time in our projects. We have a video all about breadboards. So go check that out if you want to. Next, we've got a um, USB USB cable to plug the Pico in. Um, we've got here a infrared remote um, control. This looks like the kit to make the car. A few projects with the car there. Um, here we've just got a motor. These are really fun to play around with. Um, all you need is a battery, two wires, and this motor. Have so much fun with these. To go along with it, we've got this pro propeller thing. They call it a flabulum. I don't know if I pronounced that correctly, but you just stick it in there and the motor will spin it. Here we have a 4x4 matrix membrane keyboard. So this is cool for typing in maybe codes or something if you're making a lock, something like that. We've got a handy little screwdriver here as well. Um, what else have we got? Here we have a raindrop sensor. This is a um, RFID module with two radio frequency cards. So I don't want to open them, but looks as if you'll tap these on that as a sort of security system or something, I don't know. Here we have a soil um, moisture sensor with the cable. There's also a joystick module here, um, which you can also push down as a button. Desk getting a bit crammed in here. There's a lot in this box. This is a red laser transmitter. Aha, we've got a servo here. You can program it to turn it at any certain angle. So you can use that, use this in a variety of cool projects. We've got a um, TM1637 4-bit digital tube. Here we've got the RGB LED. We've got a video on that if you want to check it out. Um, we use PWM to mess around with changing the colour of this. Really fun. Here we've got a temperature and humidity sensor. I love these. It can be used in a DIY weather station, for example. There is also a light sensor. We've got a motor drive module. This is used to help power the motor as it can't run off the Raspberry Pi Pico alone. The box also contains an infrared tracking sensor. Um, we have two of these, so another one should pop up. This is a flame sensor. 
We've got a little bag full of LEDs, buzzers, buttons, switches. There's also a magnet in there, which you'll see why we've got a magnet later on. These are simple yet nice things to use in your projects. Um, here we've also got a collision sensor. This is a potentiometer. Love these, got a video on that, so check that out if you want to. In the bag, there's an SSD screen. We absolutely love these. Um, we've got a video showing you how to put an image onto one of these screens. Also, a video on how to make the classic game Pong using the SSD screens and the Pico. Everything you need is in the kit. Um, this is a PIR sensor. We had a lot of fun with these. We used one of these in our pumpkin last year for Halloween. Um, you just walk past it, it senses you've walked past, and it'll turn on the pumpkin eyes for us. Along with the SSD screen, we've got one of these. We've also got one of, the, the, one of these at home. It's an LCD 1602. We don't use this, use this as much as the SSD 1306 screens. Here, nothing interesting, just some screws and nuts and a copper column. This is a reed switch, so I assume there'll be a magnet somewhere so we can use this read switch. Here we've got another IR tracking sensor. We've got our traffic light uh, module here. Raspberry Pi Pico, not the W, just the standard Raspberry Pi Pico with header pins. Um, here we have a ultrasonic sensor. We used one of these in one of our physics experiments. I've just knocked the camera, but here we've got a vibration sensor. Um, last few um, components. Here we have a sound sensor. Um, here we've got another collision sensor. And finally, last but not least, we have got a rotary encoder. Um, we love rotary encoders. We've got a full video on that if you want to check that out. Um, so that's everything inside the box. We have had kits like this from the past from shops like Maplin, for example, but they didn't have half the components that this kit does. So um, one thing that those kits did have that we think this kit should come with is an 8x8 matrix display. We love these things when we use them all the time. Um, but don't get me wrong, with this kit you definitely get your money's worth. Me and my sister decided to make one of the projects. So here we're just building the base car that you use for all the car projects. We have to admit, um, peeling the protective film off the acrylic was quite challenging and we both struggled with that. Also, the instructions weren't the clearest, but we managed to get around that. Our Raspberry Pi Pico PCB um, pinout coaster came in really handy here. You can see me looking at it to figure out which pin is which and also my sister's water bottle resting on one. All the code was in the booklet right underneath each um, project, which we found really useful. Here you can see the car working. I've just noticed that um, the kit also comes with this track that the car can follow in one of the projects. So that is amazing. Overall, I really would recommend this kit. This kit comes with almost all the components we have and you've seen in our videos and more. And remember, you don't have to just use these components in their projects. You can also take them out and use them in your projects. For example, this car chassis kit is really useful because you've already got a frame for a car or a moving robot. You definitely get your money's worth with this kit. Um, as I said earlier, we used to buy stuff from Maplin, um, little kits. It'd be about half the size of this and not have much in there. Maybe an 8x8 matrix, dis matrix display, a few wires, a few LEDs, maybe a buzzer. But this has got everything. This product is good for anyone who likes electronics, no matter their experience level, or even if you just want to get into electronics. It's got projects ranging from lighting up an LED, which they show you how to do step by step. So that's one of the... Um, easier projects and then for the more experienced lot they've got projects like building a remote control car that senses objects and all can drive around this track 
So it's good for all um, users, whether you're just starting or been doing it for years and years. I know that we will definitely be using this in loads of projects and doing loads of their projects. This video was meant to be out a few weeks back, um, but we got caught up in schoolwork, so it got delayed. We will make a follow-up video um, about this kit, where we'll probably make a few more um, projects of theirs. Um, so, if you are planning on purchasing this kit, or you just want to watch us make some more projects, then look out for those. If you're interested, remember to buy our Raspberry Pi Pico PCB pinout coasters. They're really useful and look really stylish. Um, more products like this will be coming out in the not too distant future. So keep your eye out on our socials for when they come out. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Have a good day. Bye.